September the 15th. On this day we keep the memory of the holy martyr Nisitas the Goth. The glorious martyr Nisitas was born in the reign of Constantine the Great in the region near the mouth of the Danube. A Goth by birth, he was brought up in the faith and love of God and with the desire to convert his countrymen. Through the care of his devout parents and the teaching of Theophilus, the local bishop, who shone in the defense of orthodoxy at the Council of Nicaea. Nicetas was instructed in the Holy Scriptures by Theophilus' successor, Wulfilus, who devised an alphabet in order to translate the Scriptures into the Gothic tongue, and who laid upon Nicetas the task of continuing his work and of spreading the faith among the people. The Goths were divided into two hostile groups, one headed by Tritigern and the other by Athanaric, a cruel and wicked man. Unable to defeat Athanaric by himself, Fritigern secured the alliance of the Roman Emperor Valens, who sent a legion with the cross on its standards that repulsed the forces of Athanaric. But after a while, Athanaric again regained power and let loose a violent persecution of Christians, whom he had come to hate. Nicetas was among the first to be captured, since he was known to everyone as a tireless preacher of the gospel. He was tortured for his refusal to deny Christ, but this only resulted in hearing him proclaim even more strongly his faith and his love for the Saviour. In the end, he was burned to death, and so gave his soul back to God and won the crown of victory in 370. A few years later, the holy relics of St. Nisitas were discovered through the miraculous appearance of a star and were taken to Mopsuestia by his friend and his disciple, Marianus, in 375. Blessed is our God always now forever to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in our places and fillest all things, treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Thy martyr, O Lord, in his courageous contest for thee, received as the prize the crowns of incorruption and life from thee, our immortal God. For since he possessed thy strength, he cast down the tyrants and wholly destroyed the demon's strength with presumption. O Christ God, by his prayer, save our souls, since thou art merciful. Having traversed the depths of the Red Sea with dry short feet, Israel of old vanquished the might of Amalek in the wilderness by Moses' arm stretched out in the form of the cross. 
O holy, great Martin Asetus, pray to God for us. By thine entreaty with Christ as a noble victor, Onesetus, modify my carnal mind and make mine understanding to shine with thine illuminating splendor, that I might honor thy festival with him. Holy, great Martin Asetus, pray to God for Having us. Having cast away the poison that comes of the passions, thou didst staunchly endure tortures and was clothed as a martyr with a precious robe woven from thy blood. Glory to the Father and to the the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst reveal a new and wondrous way of contest when thou was affixed to the tree for our sakes. For thou became the first fruit of the confession and steadfastness of the martyrs, O sovereign master. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, past nature has the gate of thy condescension towards us made thee, who art mystically called Orient and Son of Light, to flash forth twofold in nature, friend of man. Thy church doth rejoice in thee, O Christ, our God, as she cries out in joy. Thou art my soul, steadfastness, my strength, and my refuge art thou, O Lord. O holy great Martin Asetus, pray to God for us. Thou didst endure the tyrant's threats with firmness of soul, O glorious Nisitas, you martyr of Christ, made strong with divine might. Holy great Martin Asetus, pray to God thou for us. Thou bears the scattering of thy flesh and the sundering of thy members, but didst preserve the integrity of thy soul, O all Lord in martyr of Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The company of Christ's martyrs rejoices in thee, seeing thy memory celebrated today. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mary, thou pure and august habitation of virginity, heal the painful wounds of my heart. Since thou didst delight, O blessed one, in the pains of thy flesh, in paradise as is meet, thou hast laid hold on divine delight, which is free of pain. And thou hast from God the crown of life that is endless, hence thou pourest forth rivers of wonders, O martyr, for all of them that flee unto thy shelter with fervent love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Be quick to anticipate our foes, ere we be enslaved by them that best blaspheme thee, and that menace us with their threats. O merciful Christ our God, by thy cross defeat them that oppose us, that they may know how mighty is the faith of Orthodox Christians. Through thy pure mother's prayers for us all, O only friend of man. When the church beheld thee, O Son of Righteousness, lifted up upon the cross, she stood still in her course, crying out as is meet, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy great Martin Asetus, pray to God for us. Delighting in the vision of the Lord and taking pleasure in his illuminations, the martyr was insensible to his suffering, and he cried out in joy, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Holy great Martin Asetus, pray to God for us. Having been redeemed by the Master's blood, the athlete Nicetus joyfully brings his own blood unto Christ, for his sake he was slain, crying out, Glory to thee, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Blazing with ardent desire for the Saviour, the martyr trampled down the flame of idolatry and all the demons' might, and he cries unto him that created him, Glory to thy power, O Lord. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Beautifully adorned with the multicolored diffusion of light, the Immaculate Virgin, thy living hand, Heaven, o Christ, you King of kings, she is glorified now as the Theotokos. Thou, my Lord, art come a light into the world, a holy light, turning from dark ignorance them that praise thee with faith. O holy great Martin Asetus, pray to God for us. Who is able to speak of the prizes of thy contest, O, o Lord in Asetus, the cross which Christ gave thee, when thou hast contended for his soul. Holy great Martin Asetus, pray to God for when us. When the martyrs finished their fight upon the earth, they received the heavenly recompense in the highest from thee, the giver of life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now thou 
us, thou shone as a luminary, only seat as you great of fame. For thou art become a second light, standing with glory before the great Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Mother of God, thou gavest birth to the timeless light, who came under time for us, that are in the darkness of life, and thou hast enlightened the world. I will sacrifice unto thee with a voice of praise, O Lord. Thus Christ the Church unto thee, for by the blood that flowed from thy side because of thy compassion, she has been cleansed of demons gore. O holy great Martin Asetus, pray to God for us. Thou hast captivated with the Creator's beauty, O glorious Nisitas, and receiving the reflections that came from yonder, O blessed one, thou tookst wing on high, and despising death, thou didst depart unto him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Because of thy sound mind, O martyr, thou didst prefer that which never fails to that which is fleeting, and with gladness and rejoicing, only seat us, thou gavest thy body over to Thomas. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The spiritual bridegroom found thee alone as an apple among the trees of the wood, a lily exceedingly pure, and a flower of the valleys, O Mother of God, and he took up his dwelling in thee. Destroying the might of error by thy firm resolve, and taking the crown of victory through thy sufferings. O Nesitus, namesake of victory, thou rejoicest with angel kind, and together with them, O glorious one, thou ceaselessly prayest Christ God for us all. Plant thy knowledge in my soul, and cleanse my heart, O Saviour, and show me forth as a doer of thy commandments, that I may have strength to put down the sundry uprisings of my passions, and receive the triumphal prize of incorruption, by the intercessions of thy courageous prize winner Nicetus, O friend of man. For he call, has called us all together on his memorial, and ceaselessly praised thee for us all. And ceaselessly praise thee for us all. The children of Abraham in the Persian furnace of fire, with the love of piety more than with the flame, cried out, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. O holy great Martin Asetus, pray to God for us. As thou art now illuminated with an approachable splendor, O martyr, make them that him thy festival now to shine with thy light, as thou dost shout, Blessed art thou, O my God and Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The armies of the angels marveled exceedingly at thy bravery, O blessed Nisitas, as they beheld thee contesting with endurance and saying, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. With the choir on high, the incorporeal Gabriel rejoices and cries, Rejoice to thee, O all pure Theotokos. Blessed art thou among women, O all blameless virgin. When Daniel stretched out his hands, and the Danny shut the gaping mouths of the lions, and the children, those lovers of piety, who are girt about with virtue, Quench the might of fire as they cried. O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O holy great Martin Asetus, pray to God for us. Thou didst offer thyself as a whole and acceptable sacrifice, O invincible martyr, and became the whole burnt offering of sweet savour unto thy master who was crucified for us. And in gladness thou didst cry, O all you works of the Lord, bless you the Lord. Holy great Martin Asetus, pray to God for Lawfully us. Lawfully overturning the enemy's arrays as a godlike prince in war, thou didst worthily receive the unwithering crown of thy victory from the life-giving right hand of him before whom thou now stand singing out, O all your works, praise you the Lord. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Since thou didst unstrainably long for Christ, thou didst mingle thy blood with his, and was cut with stripes and killed by sound remains, and now thou reigns with him as his imitator, crying out, O all works of the Lord, bless you the Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Who alone needs conceive Christ, who alone is without spot, O spotless and all blameless, O Tokos, thou didst verily wash away the defilement of our nature, and thou becamest higher than the cherubim and the seraphim which cry, O all you works, bless you the Lord. When Christ, the chief cornerstone, not cut by the hand, a man was cut from thee, the unhewn mountain, O virgin, he joined together the separated natures. Wherefore we magnify thee with rejoicing, O Theotokos. O holy great Martinus, pray to God for us. I bring my whole self to thee, O divinely blessed Nisitas, that I may have thee as an advocate of the Master, able to save me from every adversity and as a provider of divine salvation. Holy great Martinus, pray to God for Since us. Since thou truly became a martyr to the truth, O prize winner, thou now stands rejoicing in the presence of the anipostatic and worshipful truth, receiving with boldness the rewards of thy struggle. Holy great Martin Asetus, pray to God for us. Thou hast cast anchor in a calm haven, finding rest from labors, and wearing a crown, thou dost dance in paradise with the martyrs of Christ. Therefore we all glorify thee as is meet, O all blessed Nisita. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Grant bountiful grace unto me, who with words of praise he he played crowns for thee, and rescue me from my sin and my terrible deeds by thine intercessions, O all blessed Nisita. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Beyond the law of nature thou givest birth unto the giver of the law, who without suffering change became flesh in his unsearchable compassion, and is known into essences, O blessed and immaculate virgin. As by the power of the cross thou bravely overcamest the pride of wild barbarians and wicked tyrants' madness, so now, O noble Nicetus, by thy divine entreaties, subdue the movements of the flesh and the inroads of the passions, and grant us all pardon of our sins, O our wise prize winner. For in the presence of our God thou hast exceeding boldness. Wisdom. Most holy Mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, with the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, with the prayers of our fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, so is the great Brandon the Navigator, Oran of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, our protectors and our benefactors. With the prayers of the holy great martyr Nisitas the Goth, with the prayers of the holy martyrs who contested with Saint Nisitas, with the prayers of our righteous father Philotheus of Asia Minor, Presbyter and Wonder Worker, with the prayers of Saint Porphyrius the Mime, who was beheaded by command of Julian the Apostate, with the prayers of St. Acacius, the Confessor, Bishop of Melitini, whose holy relics have been found this day. With the prayers of the holy martyr Maximus, who was perfected in martyrdom by the sword. With the prayers of the holy two maidens, who were perfected in martyrdom by the sword. With the prayers of the holy first martyr Stephen, whose holy precious relics were also found this day. With the prayers of our Father among the saints, Vesarion I, Archbishop of Larissa. With the prayers of our Father among the saints, Vesarion II, Archbishop of Larissa. 
with the prayers of our righteous father Gerasimus, who founded the monastery of the Holy Trinity, which was called Surbia in Ezagora, with the prayers of the holy new martyr John of Crete, who was beheaded in New Ephesus in 1811, with the prayers of the holy martyrs Emilas the deacon and Jeremiah, who were both beheaded in Cordova by the Moors in 852, with the prayers of our righteous father Joseph of Alaverdi in Iberia, with the prayers of St. Simeon, the Archbishop of Thessalonica, with the prayers of our Father among the saints, Iosif Chelno of Partos, the Metropolitan of Timisoara in Romania, with the prayers of the Holy New Harma de Porphyrius, Archpriest of the Domitian Cathedral in Belgorod, who was slain by the atheist in 1919 with the prayers of St. Hernan of Brittany and St. Mary of Bango and those with them whose memory we also keep this day, with the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. For he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. Let the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.